All right, guys, welcome back. We got another bit of a uh, little banger for you guys. Yeah, uh, you guys like uh, slabs and, and, and grade reveals and all that stuff, right? No, I don't think they like it, but you're still going to watch. Yeah, guys, we picked up some books from CBCS. Let's go. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chino's Comics and More. Again, my name is Chino. This is Manny. What's up, YouTube? Guys, don't forget to web the subscribe button. Hoax smash the like button. Superman punch the notification bell. And don't forget to share, guys. All right, guys. So we went to Dallas. We went to go pick up a few books from CDCS. There's a bigger story to that, but we're not going to touch base on that because there, it's leading to a few videos that will show what it leads to. Yeah, it's uh, ridiculous, man. I hate Dallas. And I hate CBCS, too. <laughs> and you'll understand why. Um, and it's not in a bad way. Or maybe it is. Who knows? It is in a bad way. All right. So with that, guys, we picked up a few books. We have... Some pretty cool keys, I think. I think they're damn cool keys. What do you think? Uh, I think they are, man. I think these are... are I, I don't want to reel too much, but these were extra books that we had. And then we... we I don't know if we got them pressed and clean. I think we just sent them off. No, we didn't get them pressed and clean. But you know what? These books, honestly, guys, we got them on the cheap. We got them on the cheap because they're books that we had in our collection. Um, I, and we'll give a store on each book. But what we want to do, guys, is want to show off these books. It's not a lot of books, so this should probably be a pretty quick video. But before we do all that, make sure you... Subscribe to the channel, hoax smash the like button, and follow share, us on man. Instagram. Yeah, yeah share us. Follow us on Instagram and, and share it is caring, man. So share it everywhere. Share it to your mom, grandpa, uh, uh, your dog. I don't care, man. Your cat. Everybody, man. I mean, get an account for your dog. Yeah, and and the, and the, and the thing is, we're trying to get to a thousand subs, guys. And for that, oh yeah, we we want to give away some stuff. Yeah, we want to give away some stuff, man. But let's go, man. Let's let's start this video off. So the first book we're gonna show off is. And this is this is a this is a damn banger. It's gonna be Silver Surfer number one. This is a character that's really, really, really on fire. At any moment could probably explode to supernova because you know there's so many rumors of him coming out. So this is a book that we acquired on the low. I wanna say we probably paid no more than hundred no, bucks on it. No, um really not. Um there was a video on Instagram a long time ago. I bought this collection and this is <laughs> actually this is part of that collection. It was a, a little long box or short mm, box. Yeah. And I had a whole bunch of other books, uh, Eternals 1 and stuff like that. Sometimes you just get lucky. So, again, there's a book that we knew. I, from looking at it, I can tell it wasn't going to be a super high grade, which is fine because we're not heavily invested in it. But, again, you know, what what do you say about, about low grades? Um, it's better than not having one, man. Yes. But I think that's not, that's, not, that's not the phrase. We got a phrase coming for you guys. Yeah, so with that, guys, let's show off what this is. I did put a tape over it. And the grade is gonna be nine point five. <laughs> nine point five. No, it's actually gonna be a three point five. Um, and just right off the bat, for all I can see, it says "Cream to Off White Pages." Um, it's, again, it's gonna be the first Silver Surfer in his own series. Awesome book to own. This book, honestly, even in low grade, goes for a little bit of money now. Um, it's a book that at one point was somewhat underappreciated. I know there's a big following for Silver Surfer, but with 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 the Fantastic Four movies being what they were. Um, it had died down, but with, with the whole hype with the MCU, this is going to probably get pretty crazy. And this is the one that you can probably pick up a lot cheaper in this first appearance. So it's a great book to And, and Marvel's going costly, man. So, I mean, I, I don't you think... You said a lot of times, yeah. I don't think that, that this is a character, especially if they roll out the Fantastic Four, that, that he won't make a, yeah. an appearance within the next five, maybe ten years. Yeah, there's a lot of movies coming out, and I think he's going to be a big part of it. Next book is going to be... Shazam number one. Again, another book that we said to pick up if you can. Um, they're, they are making a Shazam number two movie. Um, actually, I like the first movie. It was pretty funny. Yeah, um, I, I think it was it was uh, made hilarious. for everyone. It was pretty hilarious. Um, and again, this is going to be a, a pretty affordable book for the most part. It's a book that I think you picked up on the low and you had high expectations on the grade. Did it deliver? Let's find out, man. 10.0. And the grade is going to be not bad. 9.2 with... Uh, white pages and honestly for what he paid for this book 9.2 is a damn steal i don't we don't remember what we paid for these books but aside from that i know it was very you know it was on the low end and not just that man I, we we got a whole bunch of copies so i mean yeah. when when i bought this one it was right before the rumor mill started happening with shazam coming out i think dc was at a decline where they they had that that horrible movie um justice league and batman versus uh, superman <laughs> So, I mean, they did me a favor because these books, I mean, they were giving them away. Yeah, and I can tell it's, it's like three or four spine takes. So, it's still not bad. 9.2 is a damn good grade. 
Um, this is a book, man. Honestly, it's tricky to get in the high grade. I yeah. say it because it's a white cover. You know, white covers, they show a lot of imperfections and, and stuff like that. You see all the wrinkles on this guy? He's white. Yeah. So, you know, it, with age, you get wrinkles, man. He thinks he's, he, he still thinks he's 20. Uh, the next book we have is going to be X-Men 94. Giant Size X-Men is the one that you want to own, but this is going to be like the, the next best thing. It's like the third, the third, third or fourth one, man. Let's, let's see what it says. It says, new X-Men begins, Sunfire quits the team. Second appearance of Storm, Nightcrawler, and Colossus, and Thunderbird. Angel, Marvel Girl, and Iceman resign. So if you can't get Giant Size X Men, this is the the runner up. Yeah, and I bought this off of, of, off of a massive collection where I picked up a whole bunch of X Men keys and X Men issues with Spider Man keys and issues. It was just a big old bun, uh, bundle deal, and in that deal, uh, one of the bigger bigger titles that I did pick up was going to be uh, ASM 129. But this was in it, so I'm glad it was in it. And I I knew this book was going to probably be like in the Mid grade, low, uh, kind of like a little bit lower. It's not, it wasn't gonna be a high grade because of black cover, but I just wanted to get a slab because I love this damn book. And you got the Phoenix book out of there too. Yeah. So let's show what the grade is, guys. The grade is gonna be 5.0. And it says it's gonna be white pages. That's not bad. White pages for a 5.0 is pretty damn impressive. Yeah, and, and it's a black cover, man. I I think after after the clean press, man, it did it did give it a little bit of a grade bump. It's a beautiful 5.0. So, at the end of the day, man, I mean, we locally just go to CVCS because we can deliver our books, pick up supplies, and get a good grade. So, I mean, if we weren't happy with the grade, uh, we could always send it to CGC, but I mean, at the, we're not trying try, to sell these books. Try our chances with them. You just yeah. never know. Sometimes different companies give different grades, different opinions. You just never know, man. So, but I'm happy with a 5.0 because I know what I'm investing in that book. It's, it's, it's kind of low, mm -hmm. and I, I just... It looks beautiful for, for a 5.0. Yeah. The last book we have to show off is, and sticking with the whole Silver Surfer. And, and this is another one of, of that box. Um, I, the good thing about it, and I'll talk about it afterwards, is that I got a lot of these books literally for 100 bucks, the whole box. Yeah, and it's going to be Silver Surfer number three. And it's a book that I was really worried about because it's, 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 it's a tricky looking book. It's hard for me to grade. Um, but it's, it's the first appearance of Mephisto. And honestly, man, this is a book that I felt it was gonna be a low, a lower grade. Um, I didn't think it was gonna grade too high, but I think you guys and we might all be surprised what it graded at. And the grade is gonna be 10.0, 5.5. This one I honestly graded like at a 3.0, maybe like a 4.0. So maybe I'm just a harsh ass grader, but at a 5.5, this is a damn good grade. Yeah, and again. Um the these conditions books, before the present yeah. clean was really bad for yeah, these books. Yeah, it, it was. So a lot of these books, I think, excluding the Shazam, which we got present clean as well. Um, we we got these books and they were all present clean by the same individual. Uh, you guys know Strictly Comics here in Houston. So he's our boy. Um, you know, every time we need something clean and pressed, um, we send it to him. Man, too bad he doesn't do people yet. Can you press and clean this guy? But I don't think so. Eventually, man. I think he'll be a millionaire if he did. Yeah. Uh, again, just show these books off. 5.5 Silver Surfer number 3. X-Men 94 at a 5.0. Not bad. And, and they dropped the ball. This should have been a 9.8. Um, no, nah, I'm joking. It's a 9.2 Shazam number 1. It's not a 9.8, but still, it's a damn good grade. Again, awesome book. And the last one we have is going to be Silver Surfer number 1 at a 3.5. So, with that, guys, and, this is one of the books we picked up from yeah. Dallas. Um, there's more to it. Chino has a little more history on all this stuff. Yeah, and, and I am. Basically, what I'm going to say is um, the history behind this is um, there was someone locally that was selling a whole bunch of long boxes. Yeah, and that is true. Yeah. I had bought about two other boxes, but it was just a lot of stuff to go through. So, after I purchased the first two for $100, um, they allowed me to go back and just kind of pick out what I wanted from the other boxes that they had, uh, which I thought was cool. And they basically said, hey, here's a box, fill it up. And this was a massive collection, man. So I just started grabbing everything that I kind of knew and I could put a face to it. I put it in there and, you know, um, they weren't comic collectors. They weren't really invested in it. And I think I thought it was pretty cool that they allowed me just because I was a returning customer to go back and just kind of pick what I wanted. So I saw a whole bunch of Eternals run. I picked up basically little miniature runs, not complete runs. And I started getting the Eternals run. Uh, I think it was one through something, one through 10 or 12. Even but if you basically, pick up one, one, two, and three, you're good. Anything else, you're golden. And, and Silver Surfer, these two Silver Surfers were in there and I picked them up and I picked up a, a good little run of that. And um, 
a lot of good little keys, man. And again, they weren't in great condition. They were all like mid grade or low grade, like like they are. Um, but like I told many, man, you know, low keys are better than no keys. That's a good saying. And with that, guys, hey, slogan that that's trademarked by Chino. Copyrighted. You got Manny. You got Chino. With that slogan, we're out.